Hello, happy almost weekend. I was going to make these cards with you, um, particularly this one and maybe in the green colors, but I wanted to show you the difference in these projects. This card is using just the designer paper, the butterfly paper, and I'll show you that in just a minute, and the wood embellishments from the Celebration Catalog. This project is using the Stampin' Blends and stamping the butterfly and punching it out and again the wood elements and this one is using again the wood elements and the stamped image and then rock and roll which is a technique and I could show you these two techniques for coloring in a later video but I just want to let you see how pretty they are. This one on the inside has just stamped images. See the different colors in the rock and roll and this one is using the blends and look how pretty is that so unfortunately this stamp set is on back order for a little while but they do plan to get more of the stamp set in so if you have your mind set to getting it it will become available soon um, in this stamp set there are four different butterflies and the stamp is set up with the two of them together so it perfectly coordinates with the punch. See how those two are together? And here's some of the butterflies. Um, this is the rock and roll technique. So this one here, which is kind of a standard butterfly, this one is a standard butterfly too. This one looks like it's kind of feathery. Well, look at the detail in this one. That one's kind of a boho butterfly. And then this one is really simple, which would be really nice for um, using the blends, because then you could see all the different colors. So those are the four butterflies. And here's the stamp set. And we'll be using the words. And notice how there's the bold images. Those can color in the small butterfly, the top and the bottom. And then the larger butterfly, this could color in with a solid color, or you could do the rock and roll technique to color in these butterflies. And then there's two different sets of, I keep wanting to say antlers, but I know it's antenna. So that's the larger one and the smaller one. And these are little butterfly tummies. Okay, so to make this project, I mentioned that we'll be using the designer paper. And on the inside is designer paper. And let me show you that. This is free through Celebration. So look how pretty is this. And going back to this card, see this with the fancy little wings down here? Here it is in blue and yellow, and I think I used the one right here. But any of them would be beautiful. And then on the inside, I used the large butterfly, and then this little one. If it has the little scallopy bottom, it's probably on another page, these right here, which resemble these right here, that means that the punch will punch them. So when you look through this paper, there's lots of big ones that you would have to fussy cut. Look at all those. All of those perfectly fit the punch, and then you could use your blends or any coloring instrument you have. Um, markers, aqua painter, and a, um, ink pad or re-inker, or um, watercolor pencils, any of those would be beautiful to color these in. And that again would be pretty if it was um, watercolored in. Look how pretty is that. I don't even know what to do with it. It's just so pretty. I think I'd hoard it. I think I have been. These perfectly fit with the punch, the little butterfly. The only thing is, say that you wanted this blue butterfly, you would have to cut him out and then insert him into the punch. And we'll be doing that with this project, show, so I'll show you how to do that. These all fit into this punch, the large butterfly. See the little scalloped bottom? That kind of identifies that the punch would work with it. And now this is the back side of all the paper. A lot of black and white, love it. Dots, who doesn't like dots? Look at those. Can you imagine coloring those? Oof. Beautiful. Pretty. Ooh. Highland Heather, very pretty. Okay, so that's the paper that comes free with any $50 order if you choose this item. So, to get started on this project, 
Let's start with the script. So the script is a large background stamp. It's called handwritten. And to do that, just take your ink pad. Oh, and when you go to stamp this, you can do it in either direction. You do it landscape or horizontal. This one, let's do it landscape. So I'll ink that up. And get a little piece of Whisper White. Lay it on top of here. And I don't like getting my hands dirty. I guess I've used this paper quite a bit, huh? So, there's that. Good. And let's see what else I have here. Oh, these are the butterflies. These are the wood elements. And they will fit right onto here. And... Oh, um, three per card, three white, which will be this base paper right here. The frame is another, the second white, and then on the inside would be the third white. So we can just stick that down. I love Granny Apple Green. I keep using it over and over. It's a little bit loud, but I just kind of like it. Okay, so next is the frame. So you'll take your white paper and run it through the big shot. These are the new rectangular stitched frames that I keep using over and over. And you can run them through at the same time. Um, just try to make sure that this little border is all equal. And if you want, you could put a post-it on it to hold it in place. After you get it run through, put dimensionals on the back of it, and we'll put the frame on the card front. And I put the frame on first just so that when I put the script little background piece in there, it makes it easier to line it up. So if I were to do it right now, I would just be guessing it goes right about there. But if you put this on first, like that then you know right where that goes. When putting um, papers on, trying to get them square, I found a trick that works pretty well for me. And that is to hold it in diagonal corners, look at this corner and that corner and try to get them equal. Just like that. Okay. There's the front of it. So now just to put the butterflies on. So this is one that I pulled from the paper and unfortunately the punch doesn't work on it. So you need to take your scissors and fussy cut it. And here it is, fussy cut. And um, just use your adhesive to attach this. Just like that. So these little butterflies, they do fit right into here. And like I said, when you have a full sheet of butterflies, which is really cute, really nice, and you want to insert them into the punch, you need to cut out just a little bit. The only problem is when you go to insert it into the punch, your fingers or the paper isn't long enough to get in there. So to create a handle, take a post-it, here's a sticky side, put this right here, line it up. And it's okay to cut off the little antenna because there's that antenna stamp that we could put the antenna back on. So there's one of them. And here's the other. Okay, that goes in the garbage. Worked out well. So those are going to go on either side here. So I'll put adhesive on them. Oh, that's from the post-it. I'm going to take that off only because one time I had so much post-it on there that 
the adhesive didn't stick to the butterfly. It just stuck to the post-it, and then the butterfly came off. That's not good. Okay, so I'll put these in place. I'm going to try to line up the little wing divider section. So there's one. Did that make sense? Two. Cute. Okay, so I would say let's put the wood embellishments on using glue dots, but remember how we talked about the, um, I keep wanting to say antlers, antennas? Let's put those on. So like I said, there's a large and a small. The big butterfly is going to have the large one. Just like that. The little guys have this one. Okay, so now to put the wood elements on, just use a glue dot. And for the big guy, I'll put a couple of glue dots on him. Right in the middle. And these, I think one glue dot should do it. They're so little. And then the, <clears throat> the next question is, do you choose rhinestones or pearls? This one has pearls. Let's try to shake it up a little bit and maybe do rhinestones. Okay, so here's some rhinestones. I will put one right there. He gets a big rhinestone. She, she, she likes rhinestones. And the little one. Little one? Alrighty. How's that? Then on the inside, I have Hello Beautiful. I think that's good for, for a butterfly. So on the inside paper, let's stamp in black Hello Beautiful. And because it's hard to see the white paper on white um, scratch paper, I'm going to put it on here and this will make for a nice stamped image too. So we get it inked up. Just like that. And this butterfly is from the designer paper. It's here. And it won't fit into the punch, so that means time to fussy cut it. Just like that. And, oh, it looks like I did a smudgy. Um, so let's just stick this one down right in the middle. Pretty. And we can put the antenna on. And the next butterfly. The next butterfly does fit into the punch. And I have that ready to roll. It's right here. So this, uh, see how this one is a little bit popped up? I did that with two glue dots. One, two, and then some uh, post-it. Better get rid of that. I'm going to put dimensionals under the wingtips just so that it looks like it's a little bit fluttering. Put this on to inside of the cart. And consider it done. What do you think? Looks pretty nice, huh? Okay, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.